everyone. I realized I forgot about the chapter three review questions, so I'm adding this on to the end of the video real quick. Uh, so let's go through 10 questions real quick about what I just, what we just covered in chapter three. Number one, a video card on a modern motherboard would run best in which type of slot? A, PCI, B, PCIe, C, VGA, D, DVI. Feel free to pause the video if you want to try to guess before I tell you the answer. Uh, the best kind of video card that slot that you would want to use for a video card is the PCIe. The Express is the best. PCI is also a slot. VGA is not. DVI is not. Now, as you can see here on number one, there's a lot of abbreviations, and it's going to be important for you to know a lot of these abbreviations. So uh, you can download the uh, IT Fundamentals Plus U61 exam objectives online. And at the end of those object objectives, there is a list of common abbreviations that you need to know. So it's, it'd be a great idea before you take the exam to be able to find that list of objectives, go through those to make sure you understand them, and then check out the abbreviations as well. Number two, which port is used exclusively for external hard drives? Uh, A, Firewire, B, USB, C, eSATA, D, PS2. For external hard drives, we would want to use, remember, I always remember the E for external to go with eSATA. So the answer here is option C. Number three, which of these external ports is not obsolete? A, Firewire, B, Legacy Parallel, C, Legacy Serial, D, PS2. Uh, I know this might be a little bit of a trick question because every single one of these I had said were dead and obsolete. The one that is least dead, I guess, is Firewire. PS2 is completely replaced by, the, by USB, and Parallel and Serial are also completely replaced with USB. Number four, what type of connector does a modem use? A, PS2, B, RJ45, C, 3.5 millimeter, D, RJ11. When you think of modem, you need to think about a telephone line and you need to think about a dial-up system. A modem would have to be connected with a uh, telephone line, which is an RJ11. Number five, the USB connector that plugs into a full-size printer is A, Type-A, B, Type-B, C, Mini-B, D, Micro-B. A full-size printer uses the big square one, which is our Type-B. Type-A is more of the rectangular one. Mini and Micro are used for, like, phones. They're the smaller ones. The big square one is Type-B. Number six, which of these is not a flat panel display. A, OLED, B, LCD, C, Plasma, D, CRT. All of these are flat panel, except for the big bulky box one that has all those harmful chemicals in it, and that would be CRT. Number seven, which of these ports are physically identical? A, USB type A and USB type B, B, e, Thunderbolt and mini display port, C, DisplayPort and FireWire, D, DVI and VGA. Process elimination, uh, USB type A and type B, one is rectangle, one is square, so that's not the case. Uh, DVI and VGA, DVI has a whole bunch of pins and slots, VGA only has 15, so that's not it. C, DisplayPort and FireWire do not look the same, and B, Thunderbolt and Mini DisplayPort do. And if you look back to the part of the video where I showed you the visual handout, you'll see that those two are nearly identical. Number eight, what is the purpose of a wheel on a mouse? A, scrolling the display. B, greater precision of pointer movement. C, right-clicking alternative. D, locating the pointer. I guess we didn't talk about this specifically, but if you didn't know, there's a little wheel typically between the left and the right click on a mouse, and that will help you to be able to scroll up or scroll down on a multi, uh, on a long web, web page or a long document. So it is for scrolling the display. Number nine, a video camera that works only when connected to a computer is A, A, scanner, B, digital video camera, C, megapixel camera, D, webcam. A video camera that only works when connected to a computer would be a webcam. 
And 10, a receipt printer on a cash register is likely to be what kind of printer? A, inkjet, B, laser, C, LED, D, thermal. Remember, a receipt printer uses heat to heat up a special coated piece of paper so it doesn't burn, and it's not going to be the best quality, but it works great for a receipt, and that is D, thermal. All right, thanks for joining me again, and uh, we'll see you next time. As always, keep on keeping on.